yes, we need a striker. Okay. I, I'm going to say that now so that no one comments or says or replies to this and says, Hey, like, uh, this wouldn't have happened if we had a striker, you know, even if we had a striker, which I, I do think we need, I think these problems are still, still very prominent. So the Rapids need a central defensive midfielder that can break up play that can put in the tackle that can boss the midfield around and that can give the Rapids some presence because right now the way the Rapids play, they have no, they have no presence, right? They let teams come at them. They let teams attack them. They let teams just, just play around them, right? So in this analysis, we're going to look at some games. We're going to look at a tactics board and we're going to see uh, just, just why, just based off the, the, the eye test and, and off stats why the Rapids need a six. Why the Rapids need a six? You say, well, in Major League Soccer, in, in tackles per 90, the Rapids are the last place team for defensive uh, tackles, uh, for tackles one. They, no player on the side puts in, puts in, a, puts in a tackle, puts in the work to win the ball back in a dangerous spaces. And it's very funny, given that, in in Frazier's system, we had we had a ball winning player that progressed the ball in into space in Kellen Acosta, and now we don't have that. We have a player that can progress the ball really well into space in Connor Ronan, but he can't put in a tackle. Uh, and if anything, I hope that this video kind of shows why the Rapids have been so bad this season. Right? It's because of the lack of a six. I mean, it's no wonder that. This the same off season that that the that San Jose acquired a six. They're now looking like one of the best teams in the league, right? They fixed up the middle of the field issues that the Rapids currently have. Let's look at them here. I mean, off the jump, we are going to see here that uh, Luciano Acosta finds space right here in this Rapids middle. Look at that. And no one tackles. We just kind of stay and watch. And, you know, any other, I mean, it's Luciano Acosta. You don't want to afford him that space there, right? You don't want him to have an open shot like this, which should have very, could have very easily been a goal. So uh, not only does it kind of uh, highlight the lack of tackles made by our own center backs, but the lack of that six in the middle of the park to really, um, to really solidify the play and break down any of these chances. No one's doing that on the Rapids right now. But, I mean, let's go back a little bit, right? Because that missed tackle right there is evident, right? That tackle, you know, wins, uh, prevents this goal at the very least, gives you a chance to kind of win. The Rapids would go on and lose 1-0 in that deciding tackle that a 6 would definitely make a six, a strong six that can muscle people off the ball, prevent those chances. They don't have that right now. Moving on, we have a uh, an RSL example, <laughs> of course. Uh, I will never, ever let them forget the fact that they lost back-to-back -back at home uh, against RSL. In a the game, they got, they got crushed in. But again, look at Ronan here. Uh, his movement here is not helping at all because you already have two guys there that are tracking it. And right here, this is the goal that the Rapids have been conceding all, all this year, all of last year, right? It's this final run uh, from a person or, or even just someone collecting the ball here and scoring, right, and shooting. But you have him here. You have him to cover. There's no reason why Ronan should be coming over here. And look, nobody, nobody's there to disrupt that ball. Nobody's there to kind of make sure he doesn't take that sh that challenge. Instead, we're all huddled into our into our into the into our box, and we just and the Rapids just let let other teams kind of test them and attack them. And there's no disruption, right? Because if we look here, from right here, this is not a sound tactical game plan, right? Because you have people that are gonna shoot from out here, right? Ronan. And Acosta have not are not, especially a Ronan, but Acosta you'd figure it would be a bit more of a brute in the midfield. He's just not right. And what ends up happening is, if you want to just indulge me a bit, 
is when the Rapids are defending in this low block, this we have to defend the box here. Maybe Bassett drops back a bit. The ball's won, and your your options to score are, are, are much more limited, right? Or your options to attack, I should say. Because you're going to assume there's a player here, there's a player here, there's a player here, and then you have their defense, right? So you have an entire back line back here. Yappy's in a 1v4, right? It's 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 never going to be as quick as boom, boom, goal, right? It's just it's just a little too simple at this point to expect it to play without a six. Uh, that you'll you'll just I mean in in possession, right? And I'll and I'll and I'll put the Rapids in in what this looks like in possession, right? Because Rapids by and large in possession look fun, and there's no doubting that, right? You have Bassett kind of free flowing in this space here. You have Galvan who can stretch out this way, Harris and Gutman who can stretch out this way. And you know, Maxo and uh, I guess I should switch them. Maxo and Wilson uh in this kind of setup work because Wilson can just, you know, long ball it up here to Gutman or, or Harris, long ball it up here to Galvan. And and you got and you and you have threats, right? You have you have a, a late run by Bassett. You have Connor Ronan that could kind of win, uh, not even win the ball back, but kind of distribute it as you go. If Yappy was was an actual target striker, this would be working. But in the moment, you know, like in the attack, you you have some fun numbers to play around with. But by and large, in the defense, our rest def the Rapids' rest defense has looked very very poor. Here here's I mean another one, not winning that ball there, letting them play around it. It, it, it's 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 quite you know it's quite embarrassing because they look like literal traffic cones right in that play right there let's go back a bit let's track who our six is supposed to be all right and it's he's right there connor ronan play is going to come a bit for us but uh tracking ronan right here tracking his entire run here he's over here that <laughs> i mean it's a it's a it's a draining cone you know it's easy for other teams to find that pass right right if you're here and and we have Rosenberry back and we have Max Sue back and we have Wilson back Gutman is right here to defend right Ronan may as well be absent because what happens is is this guy will shoot right here or this guy will um Put it right there, and someone's there. Nine times out of ten. And, and, and even when Ronan is there, like, look, he he's there. He doesn't make a play on the ball. He doesn't make a attempt to stop it. And now, you know, this isn't just to slag Ronan off, right? Because uh, I think he is a good eight, right? Which is why, you know, his, his defensive game is being put to the test. But, I mean, Acosta, Acosta's a big guy. I don't know why there's not more from him in in the kind of defensive principles of the game that the Rapids need. So there you have it. That's uh, kind of a quick little rundown. If you'd like more, let me know, dude. I uh, am still learning how to do a lot of this content creation. So uh, YouTube videos, if you want more like these, if you want your, your own team, if you want me to look at your why your team sucks, you know, let me know. Uh, or, or, or why your team's good. You know, I'm here for that too. Anyways, have a great rest of your day, guys. I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.